Okay, so first we're gonna fold our paper in half, sandwich style. Like so, and then unfold. Next, we're gonna take this side and fold it over. So you're essentially trying to make this side meet this side and making sure this corner is very nice and crisp. Um, this side is not going to end up touching your middle crease and that's okay. You don't want it to touch. So you're going to do the same thing on the other side. And next, you're going to take this corner and fold it to this corner over here. like that. And you're going to repeat for the other side too. So we're taking this corner, meet to that corner. Like that. And we're going to repeat this one more time by taking this corner of the flappy side and folding it to this corner. This edge to this edge. And we're going to repeat that for this side. So this edge to this edge and this corner to this corner. Like so. so now we're going to unfold everything we just did. And notice how this side makes an indent. So you're just going to take that indent and roll with it, fold it down so you get this nice looking trapezoid. And then once you have your trapezoid, you fold on this crease right here. I don't know if you can see that. By opening this flap and folding it over. This way you get a nice looking triangle with flaps on both sides. This side and this side. So you're going to do that again on the other side. You make your trapezoid and fold on this crease by opening this flap and bringing this corner to this corner. So. Like so. Next, we're going to bring these two flappy corners up to the top of our triangle. And repeat this on the other side. And then this next step um, may differ from person to person. If you're really good at origami, you can just open this flap and flatten it to make a square right off the bat. But if you're this experience at origami, you can take this corner, fold it down first to create that crease, and then proceed to open it and flatten into a square. So, just to show you that again, you take this piece, fold it down, fold it back up, and it might take a while, you might have to put your fingernail to get this pocket open and flatten. Okay, this next part will definitely take fingernails and nimble fingers. So you take this piece of our little flappy square and this edge, and you want to meet it to the diagonal line of the square to make a nice looking little triangle. And then you're going to repeat it to the other side. So your result is diamond looking. And you want to make sure this flat line is up here, not down here. Sometimes people might fold it this way 
You don't want to do that. You want to do it this way. And then you're going to repeat that for all of the squares. So again, you're just going to bring this bottom edge to this diagonal. Bring this side edge to this diagonal again. And this is the last really hard part. So what we're going to do is you take the triangles you just folded and you're going to want to open it up because it makes a little pocket. might take you a few tries. This is where fingernails are definitely very helpful. And you're just going to flatten the top part down so it makes a nice looking diamond shape. So, the, so to show you that again, you t open the flap and you just smush it down. So this part is a triangle, but this is a diamond. It might take you a little bit of time. It could be a little tedious since you have to do it to each and every one of these, but it's definitely worth it at the end. It looks really pretty. And there you are. Almost done. So Next, we want to bring this edge and this edge together. So what we're gonna do is we're going to simply just fold it together. The back is gonna end up looking like this flat little thing. And that's okay, that's what you want. So, right here. Now you just wanna fold it in half, this way. And you want to take this outer corner and you want to bring it to the crease we just made. Sometimes you can't see the crease, so it helps to hold the um, flap you just folded over perpendicular to the table. That way you can see where the crease is. And just make a triangle, just like that. Because what we want to do here is see how you can see this triangle or this little extra piece of paper? We don't want to see it, so we're just folding it over so you can't see it. And then we're gonna unfold it. You can already kind of start to see where the heart is coming. This next step you want to take either end, it doesn't matter, you can fold this side back or this side back, but you want to fold this down like this and the back is gonna look like that so we're essentially just taking this and folding it down and then you can already see we have the makings of our heart and what I like to do because I like a little rounded edge on our heart is you fold back these corners to give our heart a rounder looking shape. But whether or not you want to do that set is up to you. Maybe you like a little pointed shape. It just depends on what you like. And there you are.